Hi guys, it's recess. So I'm going to teach you a very simple way to make fish in foil. You can either barbecue it uh, for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish, or you can bake it at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, if you're going to use vegetables or anything else, it could take a little longer tonight. I'm not making it with any other vegetables. So you're gonna take a piece of tin foil. I'm using Bassa fish. Um, I just get it at Costco or No Frills or Sobeys or wherever um, you can find it. It's delicious. For one piece is two smart points. So you're gonna just spray your tin foil really well and not on the shiny side. And I'm gonna add my Actually, I'm going to keep it on the plate first, and I'm going to add a little bit of some pepper on both sides, some garlic. I like it to taste delicious, and I'm going to use some paprika. I'm going to do it the other side as well, actually, and add some garlic to this side too because I like it flavorful. And tonight I'm going to use um, this Tuscan herb olive oil. If you have a flavored olive oil that you love or just a regular olive oil, you can do that. So I'm just going to take a brush and brush it on one side. And I used about a teaspoon. And that's it. I've got some lemons. So I'm going to put this on the non shiny side. Put some lemons on top. Ah! Oops. I won't use that one. And you're just going to make it sealed on the top and the sides. And that is it. Amazing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Hi. So the fish has been um, on the barbecue for 15 minutes. And then that's a great amount of time. But again, depending on the type of fish you make and how thick it is, you may want to cook it a little bit um, less or a little bit longer. The other thing that I forgot to mention, you know me, I forget things sometimes. If you want to add a bit of salt, um, you can. I don't usually because there's so much other flavoring with all the other seasonings that you put on. Um, but again, it's a personal choice. So here it is and I'm going to unwrap it. It's very hot, so you have to be careful. Do you see the steam coming out? Mm, you know me, I like that. Anyways, it looks so delicious, and here it is, and I'm just going to leave it on here for now, and I'm going to taste it so that you can see how good it is. Mmm. It's still a bit moist, but it's cooked through, and it's so easy, and you can make it in the oven, and you can use whatever spices that you like, flavored oils. This was delicious. It was a Tuscan oil that I got when I was at the market up in Wasaga Beach. Um, my friend will be happy that I said Wasaga and not Wasaga. So I hope you like this video and you subscribe and share it with other people. Um, you can have a fantastic side dish with it, some rice, some potatoes, um, just some veggies if you don't want the carbs but good carbs are important to have as well, as you know, and come visit me at Reese's Recipes and Weight Watchers Tips. Love you guys.